The mystery of David Widlack becomes deeper and darker. The body found, one autopsy says wound, no wounds, a later one says a bullet to the head. The what's, when's, and how's not answered. Nick Perot has covered the story for Shelby this week from the beginning. Well, there's no doubt that the David Widlack case still remains a mystery. But what we do know now is that his body was discovered on Sunday, October 17th, after a call came from two duck hunters. Sheriff's dispatch, Hudson. Um, just got done duck hunting on Lake St. Clair mm -hmm. um, at the Crocker boat launch. Okay. And pretty sure there's a dead body in the water over here floating. I didn't go up too close to it, but that's, it looks like it is. Okay. It's in the water? Yeah. Okay, and where exactly are you? The uh, Crocker boat launch <clears throat> right across from Eddie's driving. The call came at 7.06 p.m., and after officers arrived on the scene, they were able to identify the body as that of David Allen Widlack. On Monday, October 18th, Sheriff Hackle explained how Sunday's event unfolded. When they came in, they saw this, gave us a call. We got out here, identified it as possibly being a body, did more uh, investigating into it, brought out some divers, retrieved the body from the waterway, which is only about 5 feet, 10 feet off the shore, but in a very murky area, and maybe about a foot and a half, 2 feet of water. When they retrieved the body, brought it in, it was uh, without question that of a male subject, uh, very closely matching the description of uh, uh, David Whitlack. Now, when we looked at it closer, looking at the clothing, uh, looking at the, the shoes, the, uh, the pants, and the, the, the top that he was wearing, um, as well as items on him at the time, in fact, even his driver's license was found or discovered uh, in his pocket as well, uh, we were fairly certain it was, in fact, uh, the missing uh, person we were looking for, that being David Whitlack. Officers continued to scan the murky waters for several hours at the DNR site later on Monday, looking for any additional clues in the case. And around 2 o'clock, the Macomb County Sheriff's Department and the county's medical examiner, Dr. Daniel Spitz, would reveal this statement. A couple of things that uh, have taken place since this morning. Uh, we sent out the, uh, the dental records um, from the autopsy and had a positive identification. Uh, there's. Uh, without question that the uh, missing person uh, that was uh, um, we were looking for, David Woodlack, um, the body that was found in Lake St. Clair, uh, were one and the same. So there has been a positive identification made uh, through dental records. Uh, there was an autopsy conducted uh, this morning, and uh, Dr. Daniel Spitz uh, conducted that autopsy. And uh, the conclusion from the autopsy itself was there was absolutely no blunt force trauma uh, to the body in any regards whatsoever. So that would rule out uh, either a homicide or suicide by blunt force trauma. But a twist in the case was thrown in only two days later, when a second autopsy report at the request of the family would reveal new information and tell a different story. Uh, originally there was an indication that there was no blunt force trauma or any other type of wounds or injuries to the body. And it's since been discovered that apparently there was a, uh, a uh, gunshot wound to the back of the head and uh, it appears to be some kind of a bullet uh, that was discovered as well. We are taking all that uh, information as well as the uh, bullet and have it, uh, have it in process uh, for, uh, for an analysis. Once we were able to make that determination, uh, we went right back out to that scene where the body was found in an attempt to find the weapon. And uh, within approximately a half hour of the divers being out there, uh, within close proximity to the body, they did find a weapon. And uh, the weapon itself was the 38 caliber revolver that apparently belonged to uh, Mr. Whitlack. Uh, it was within uh, close proximity to where the body was, and uh, that too is being uh, um, actually uh, sent over to the Michigan State Police Crime Lab for processing as well. Well, the question still remains whether this David Whitlack case was a homicide or a suicide. We'll make sure to bring you more information as it becomes available. For Shelby This Week, I'm Nick Perot. Coming up, Boo Bash.